Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, if things look a little weird on my uh, um, uh, screen here, um, layers might not be the same that they were or named the same. Uh, reason being is that uh, just after I had uh, uh, paused to um, you know, do the animated mask um, for the background, um, After Effects crashed. So I, of course, stupid me, I didn't save. Um, had basically start all over again. So I'm pretty sure I got uh, all, everything that I had had originally done. So at the top I have the null and I have the tracker. So I use the, the background animation uh, to get the uh, uh, tracking data, apply that tracking data to the null. And I have the background mask. Its position is uh, uh, pick whipped to the position of the null. And then I have the actual background which the mask is applied to using an alpha invert mat. Um, then I have the background animation which happens before the head gets cut off. Which before, that's before um, we had to cut out the hole uh, in Sam's head. And that's that's the animated mask. And we're just masking out uh, um, the, where his head's moving off to. That's why it looks like kind of just bleep, he gets this big bubble there. What we're concerned about here is uh, right along the collar uh, we want to have as clean and tight a mask as we possibly can because uh, we're going to have to put something in there, a stump or something. We want to have that as as clean as, as, as possible or as tight as possible. And the background animation I have down here, I just use that when I was creating the mask so I can actually see uh, the position of Sam's head. Uh, I just had a little transparency on that, so uh, so I could tell the difference between you know the um, uh, little layer that I was using, so I could you know tell the difference between and the actual background. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so I can actually I'm pretty sure I can just remove the, that uh, that layer. So here's what we have so far. Come da, come da, 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 comes here. His head gets removed, and we had to remove the head from the background animation. Um, so we have the headshot, add the headshot in. And I see where we have our problem here. Is Sam's moving along here, and this is where his head would be removed. But, yeah, the mask is, is not quite working how we want it. Um, so let me put an animation on on uh, Sam's head here, so we'll have it here, here, here. So, bleh. okay, that's good. Now here's where the magic comes in. Um, the one thing you want to do uh, when you're doing it this way, if you're not using the gr not using a green screen. You have to make sure, number one, you get footage of your background without your character in it. Okay, and that's key. Number one. Number two, that camera cannot move from the time you either shoot your footage, then just take your, your uh, background shot without the character, or you take your background shot without the character first, then put them in it. Your camera cannot move. Um, because we're actually going to use the empty background uh, to put in behind uh, the background, the masked background layer, uh, to fill in the spot where his head would be. So you'll see in just a second when, when I show you. So, you know, uh, off goes his head. So his head's over here somewhere, and we got our hole in our background layer. Okay, so don't even pay attention to this background animation. Um, I'll turn that, uh, shy that, and I'll shy the null, and I'll shy the tracker. So we just have the, the important layers that we're working with, the headshot and the background, uh, mask and background. So that's our problem. So what we're going to do is uh, just go over to our projects, and we're going to take the footage, in this case it's just an image, of the background uh, without our character in it. Drop it in. Bam. There you go. Take a look at that. Isn't that awesome? Oh, as you can tell by the edge of his neck, I'm going to have to clean up the mask a little bit. And you can see a little bit of the outline of his head's floating around. But for the for the most part, 
you know, his head just been removed. Okay, so let's actually let me just you know clean up this this mat a little bit or this mask a little bit. Move that out. Yeah, I'm catching slivers of the face all over the place. So yeah, you know you want to you want to take good care of that. And make sure it doesn't have to be tight to the face but it definitely has to make sure it's encompassing the face so it's so uh, that looks a little bit better i'm still getting you know stuff so i'm going to have to make it bigger and eh, still getting a little bit there how oh, we're not going to worry about it now um so now what we're going to have to do we're going to have to create you know some kind of stump that goes in there and we also have to uh, reconnect his collar here um, so the background image is going to be uh, main background oh, excuse me <laughs> okay and um, let's go to a new solid and uh, just hit OK and I, I usually just change the color by using color correction and uh, um, use saturation colorize and let me just size this down a little bit here and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hop, uh, turn it off, but I'm actually going to uh, use the pen tool. Now draw it on there, and if we turn it back on, you can see, you know, what's going on there. Hmm. Okay. So, and let's. I think we'll create a bloody stump first. Okay, I think I might actually pause on this one, do the bloody stump, and then come back and show you, you know, what else to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back and I'll show you what I've been doing since I was since I was uh, um, gone okay now if I can actually remember what I was what I was doing okay um, so I think what I was gonna do is I was gonna create create the stump of his neck um, and so I did is this everything's all in, in a, a pre comp so I have to go back into it and just hit the alt button and double click and I'm going to go back even farther. Oop, I think I went too far. Ah, that's right, it's the top one. Okay, so this is what I have. I have a, uh, a masked out layer. And on that layer, <clears throat> I have a Luma inverse mat on a fractal. And it's not anim animated, it's fractal noise. Um, I brought this scale down to... Uh, six percent out of a hundred and so it kind of gets that real nasty you know meaty look to it um, and I use that as a uh, uh, um, the stump layer as a luma inverse mat uh, uh, for the um, uh, meaty um, yeah whatever anyway so that's what the original original look like <clears throat> 